We have White Star China coming up right now. Um, from what we could see on the diver cam, it's mostly white wear with the red flag, so it's either second or third class, but there could be some really cool first class pieces. It's right there, like five feet away right now. The China looks like it's an assortment. We see a couple that look like they were from the first class, which those are the most highly prized. The value of these plates is not so much that they're a white star line, but they're recovered from a famous ship. Right. The plates clearly identify the ship as a white star liner. The only white star liner in this area of the Atlantic Ocean is RMS Republic. We'll let our conservator be the, the one ground. to sort through it. Yeah, there's a very nice collectible item because oh, yeah. it has the White Star Line logo on it. And on the back here, if you clean this we'll off... We'll have to see what we can get out of that. Yeah, beautiful piece. Something like this we may want to keep with some of the, the nautical patina. Yeah. Right. I see the design, but I'm, I'm pretty sure, at least on Titanic, the second class no, this is second. This red. is second class. White Star right there. Let me see. The red design. First person to hold that plate in 106 years. There's yeah, a lot cool. of iron oxide standing on these. Even the ones that are cracked are still really cool. Yeah, they're actually beautiful, if you think about it. Think of them as pieces of art. Oh, this one's a good one. <laughs> I don't think I like what's on the menu for lunch. These are fused together. Looks like green pea soup. I can get them out. It's a nice one. It's still got the Flag's coloration. almost perfect. Yeah. This would be second or third class. Yeah. Until it gets conserved, I don't know exactly what the classes are and how many of each we have. But from a first look, it looks like we got some good stuff. Based on the artifacts that we've pulled up right now, these plates, it looks like we have a mix of first, second, and third class china. Uh, third class has basically no design. Second class has a red flag with a star. And first class has like a blue deltaware pattern with the shipping line anagram in the middle. The recovery of these artifacts might enable a small profit. Ultimately, though, they provide intelligence for us identify the wreck, identify conditions on the wreck. They allow us to proceed with our diving operations. All these little artifacts and trinkets, he calls them trinkets. He's like, ah, I don't care about China. You have to look at what's guaranteed. You have to look at what's there, what can we get now? So we're going to call up the little local auction house and try to see how much some of these things are worth. About how many plates have you discovered so far? I believe we have 22. OK, and from various classes? Yep. What conditions are they in right now? Uh, some of them, you know, have way more wear and tear than others. You know, the more evidence there is on the plate, the more interest there will be on the auction market. Okay. What, what could we be looking at uh, ballpark for each plate, do you think? I think it would be reasonable to expect between $1,000 and $1,500 per plate on the open auction market. OK, well, yeah, that's sort of, that's sort of what, I, what I had in mind. So that's good news, then. It's nice to know that we're bringing some value up on this trip Absolutely. so far. So. And then I imagine there's more down there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a whole shipload of it, so we'll just we'll see what we can get. All right. Bye, Lucy. I think it's good news. Um, it's not millions of dollars in you know gold or jewels or personal effects, but at least it's something. The Republic beat him the first time. It consumed him. We're dealing with the largest treasure ship in history. I cannot leave this unresolved. The fight is far from over. We will recover the Republic's gold.